I'm going to explain what is accounting equation. So as per the accounting equation, that I'm going to write here the one formula. Accounting equation is equal to all assets. All assets. Minus liabilities. All assets minus liabilities is equal to. Right. So this is accounting oh. equation. Or we also we also can say okay, assets are equal to liabilities plus equity. Right. So I'm just going to explain this with the help of one example. Let's say uh, we we need fifty thousand dollar for our business. So we want to start business uh, with the fifty thousand dollar, right? But we realize that we have some money, like we have a twenty thousand dollar. have money in the bank we have uh, means we have a bank balance uh, $20,000 <clears> the rest of the money that we need to arrange so what we decide we decide to take bank loan and bank is saying $25,000 we can give loan for your business and the rest <clears throat> $5,000 <coughs> that we want to take a loan from one of our friends name is John. Yeah, John, let's say John is our friend and from John is ready to pay $5,000 without interest. He's helping and saying like whenever you have maybe after six, six months or the year, <coughs> Whenever you feel that you are able to return my money, you can return money. Okay, so now if we make a total of these figures, then we come to know that $50,000 is the total amount that was required for our business. <coughs> if we talk about the assets, we know that uh, what are the assets already one video that you have seen in the, my previous lecture. I explained what are the assets and what are the liability. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write the name of the assets here. <clears throat> so assets here is if we talk about the current assets. In current assets, we know we have cash. How much cash we have that is in front of us? We have cash <coughs> because so uh, the loan that we have taken from John that that we have taken cash. It means uh, first of all, we have five thousand dollar cash. <coughs> and also the five thousand dollar is a cash that we have taken from our friend, Mr. John. And if we have taken loan from our friend for business purpose, and definitely one day will come after six months or a year, we we need to pay this money to Mr. John, who is our friend. So if we have a good intention, or even this has become our responsibility and a liability to pay off $5,000 to Mr. John of a friend. So in this case, <coughs> if we are going to talk about the the current liabilities, right? So we know the current liabilities. Current liabilities are the liabilities <coughs> that can be paid off in one year. 
So in the current liabilities, we can write name of our friend. Loan from John. And I'm going to write the same figure here, $5,000. <coughs> Okay. Second, uh, we have uh, we have taken bank loan from let's say TD Bank. <clears throat> we went to TD Bank in the morning with all our documents of our business to asking for the loan help. And the bank is uh, granted loan for us and they saying OK, after one hour, you will receive uh, e-transfer from uh, the bank to your uh, bank account that you have with us. <clears throat> After one hour, we see that how much is our bank balance. Initially, that we were not having any money in the bank. The total money that we have taken in the bank, that is from the from the bank, means as a loan. It means if we say the bank balance is there. So I'm going to check my bank balance. So TD bank balance is saying $25,000. On the other side, <clears throat> on the other side, if we talk about the loan that we have taken from the bank, $25,000. Has become a liability. I'm not going to write that liability in the current liability. I'm going to write here in the long term liability. So in the <coughs> long term liabilities, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to write here loan from bank or bank loan, whatever is convenient for us to understand. We can write it here. No hard and fast rule. So I'm going to write a loan from and the amount I'm going to write here, $25,000. And we know that the bank balance was also there. That was the $20,000. This bank balance, <coughs> this money was belonged to the owner. And we can say uh, owner of this business is Leo. Let's say Leo is the name of the owner, right? Let's say Leo is the name of the owner. So now, <coughs> if we talk about the bank balance, $25,000 that we have taken from bank as a bank loan, bank has transferred this money to our account and before that, we were having the $20,000 in our uh, in our saving account, maybe in the same bank or maybe from the other bank. <clears throat> because uh, today morning, for example, that we have opened a bank account here as a business account, right? Checking account. $20,000 that was uh, in our saving account. So what? we did in the morning we transferred twenty thousand dollars in our td bank so <clears throat> the balance increased to forty five thousand dollars so here i'm going to change this figure from twenty five thousand to forty five thousand dollars twenty five thousand plus twenty thousand is equal to forty five thousand enter so I have changed this figure. This is the balance bank balance that we have in our business. 
Who has given this money in the business? We know Leo. Who is Leo? Is the owner of the business. If we talk about the owner of the business, is always we write under equity. Equity, what kind of equity? And we can write owner first. Owner's equity. Oh, owner's equity. I am going to write here. Uh, capital account. Uh, Leo's capital. Leo's capital. Okay. Le who is Leo? We know Leo is the proprietor. Leo is the owner of the penis. Leo has invested. Leo is arranging everything. So Leo has $20,000. It's $20,000. So why I have put this one under the liability side? The reason being, if today I am going to shut down this business, if Leo decided that after one year I am going to close this business, I am going away from this country. So what Leo will do? <clears throat> Leo will check this money, the $50,000. And give twenty five thousand uh, to bank, five thousand dollars to his friend John, and twenty thousand dollars to himself. Tra again, transfer to his uh, saving account from where he brought it. Okay. <clears throat> Now I am just going to elaborate what accounting equation says. Accounting equation is saying <clears throat> assets are equal to liabilities plus equity or also we can say assets minus liabilities are equal to equity. Both are the same thing. Now, how to elaborate this one? <clears throat> uh, I'm going to write it here. Assets. Here I'm going to write liabilities. And here I'm going to write equity. Now assets. So first of all, I would like to write the liabilities amount. The liability amount is current liabilities and long term liabilities is known as a total liability. And liabilities always we say the outsider liabilities. I'm repeating again. Whenever that we are going to talk about the liabilities, and liabilities are going to be the outsider liabilities, maybe the current liability or maybe the long term liability. It means current liability is known as short term liability. That can be converted and that can be paid off in one year, means less than 12 months or maybe 12 months. Long term liability, we have taken loan for from our bank maybe for five years. Maybe 10 years, maybe 20 years. Long term liability. So both are the liabilities. If we make a total of these two liabilities, then 5000 plus 25000 is not is equal to $30,000 that I'm going to write it here. If we know that we have assets, we have assets means that we have uh, current assets right now. We have not bought any fixed assets, machinery or uh, furniture or laptop or generator or car vehicles truck we we have not bought anything but we have current assets right now which is which is known as the liquid assets <clears throat> so the total of the current assets for leo's business for our business is fifty thousand dollar if i'm going to write it here fifty thousand dollar are the assets and I can find the equity. So 50,000 
minus 30,000 is equal to $20,000. It means if we know the two figures, we can find the third one. Any two figures. We know assets, we know liabilities, and we can find out equity. Okay, for example, we don't know the assets figure. We don't know. It means the liabilities plus equity is equal to assets. I'm going to write it here. If we don't know the liabilities, then how we can calculate? 50,000 assets we know. Equity owner's money. Equity, I always say equity is owner's money. And liabilities, I always say this is not owner's money. This is outsider's money. External, external parties. We as a business, Mr. Leo, supposed to give money to the outsiders. That is known as total liability, which comprises the current liability and long term liability. So now <clears throat> if we know these are our assets. And my as owner, my I'm Leo, for example, my equity, my investment, I have invested $20,000. How much is the amount for the outsider? I want to know. How can I know? If all assets that I have minus my money that I invested, what other invested? That is the balancing figure, like 50,000 minus 20,000 will be equal to $30,000. This is exactly the accounting equation is saying. Liability and equity. Liability plus, e plus equity is known as is equal to assets. Look at this. Assets are equal to liability plus equity. Okay. Other one, assets minus liability is equally is equal to equity. Assets minus liabilities is equal to equity. This is also right. Okay. So now <clears throat> With this example, I have tried to make you understand the concepts of uh, accounting equation, what accounting equation is and how we can use this accounting equation in interpretation and to calculate the balance sheet figures.